Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, I am going to show you an example in which we will be using set and reset coils. We will also be using memory bits and normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. So let's look at the example first. Example 1. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 2 will be off and motor 3 will be on. And then if switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. We will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. And then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where we can select a logic controller from this list. There are many logic controllers. I will be using TM221. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. So the device I am using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, one serial line port and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line and there we can select protocol as Modbus ESCII TMS 2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will select it as TMS 2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to Programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I will click on full screen mode here and zoom into it. So if switch 1 is on then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. So we will take motor 2 as set coil as on turning switch 1 off motor 2 still remains on and we will take motor 1 as normal coil. I will insert normally open contact and a coil and then a set coil. Then I will connect the set coil by drawing a line like this. Then I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. I will also add symbol as switch 1. Yes. Then I will assign address to the coil as Q. 0, 0.0 and then symbol as motor 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the set coil as Q 0 0.1. I will also add symbol as motor 2. Yes. So when switch 1 is on, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And when switch 1 is off, motor 1 and motor 1 will be off, but motor 2 will still remain on. Then if switch 2 is on, 
then motor 2 will be off and motor 3 will be on. So in rung 2, we will take motor 2 as reset coil and connect it with switch 2. And we will take motor 3 as normal coil and it will be also connected to switch 2. So I will add a new rung here and then I will insert normally open contact. And then I will insert reset coil and a normal coil. I will connect the normal coil by drawing a line like this. Then I will assign address to the contact as I 0 0.1. And then I will add symbol as switch 2. Yes. Then I will assign address to the reset coil same as motor 2 that is Q 0 0.1. Motor 2 and then I will assign address to this coil as Q 0 0.2. I will also add symbol as motor 3. Yes. So when switch 2 is on, motor 2 will be off and motor 3 will be on. As we have used a reset coil here, so on turning on switch 2, motor 2 will be off. Then if switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So for motor 4 to be on, we will use a memory bit. And for memory bit, we will use a set coil. And then we will connect that memory bit with a normally closed contact that will be addressed as switch 2 and connect it with motor 4. So we will add a new rung here and then I will insert normally open contact and then normally close contact and then a coil. Before that, I will insert a set coil in rung 1 here and then I will connect it by drawing a line like this. I will assign address to this set coil as M0. I can also symbol it as memory bit. Yes. So, when switch 2 is on, motor bit will be true. And when switch 2 is off, motor bit will be still true as we have used a set coil here. Then, here, I will address this normally open contact same as M0 that is memory bit and then I will address this normally closed contact as I 0 0.1 and then I will address this coil as Q 0 0.3 and symbol it as motor 4. Yes. So, when switch 1 is on, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And then, when switch 1 is off, motor 1 will be off. But, as we have used a set coil here, motor 2 will remain on. And then, when switch 2 is on, motor 2 will be off. As we have used a reset coil here, when we turn on motor 2, mo when we turn on switch 2, motor 2 will be off and motor 3 will be on and also memory bit will be set to true. And then when we turn off switch 2, motor 3 will be off and memory bit will remain true. 
So, on turning switch 2 on, motor bit will be true and here the current will flow through it. And then, when we turn off switch 2, the current will also pass through it. We have used switch 2 as normally closed contact. In false state, that is when switch 2 is false, when switch 2 is off, the current will also pass through it and motor 4 will be on. I will exit full screen mode here and compile the program. I will go to commissioning tab and launch simulator. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode. As you can see here, when I turn on switch 1, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And then, when I turn off switch 1, motor 1 will be off. But as we have used a set coil for motor 2, on turning off switch 1, motor 2 will be still on. And then, when I turn on switch 2, motor 2 will be off. As we have used a reset coil here, on turning on switch 2, motor 2 will be off. And motor 3 will be on. And also, memory bit will be true. And then, when we turn off switch 2, a set coil. And, as we have used a set coil for memory bit, the current will flow through it and switch to, we have used it as normally closed contact. As we have turned off switch to, the current will also pass through it. And on turning on, and on turning off switch to, motor 2, and on turning off switch to, motor 4 will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.